Hello beautiful people of the internet, what's up? It's your girl Lakeisha. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite products that I have been using over the past couple of months. Most of these products are things that you haven't really seen me talk about before, so I'm super excited to share with you guys these products. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel, I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna start off in skincare like we always do. The first thing that I have been loving happens to be a serum. Now this is the Azaline Bellflower Daily Calming Serum. This is a super lightweight serum. It is extremely calming and hydrates your skin so well. Whenever I have irritated skin or if I've done any type of peels, which I have been doing a lot of lately, this has definitely been a savior in that. Now I apply this while my skin is still damp just to make sure that it's not evaporating water from my skin, but it leaves my skin feeling so amazing typically i use this in my evening routine but if i peel which i do my peels in the morning i would do it then too the next product is one that i was a little bit reluctant to try simply because so many people were raving about it and i was like Ugh really <laughs> then i tried it and now i'm raving about it too this is the glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops first of all smells amazing and you see this little hollow pink look that it has to it it leaves that on your skin too so with something like this i usually like to apply like a shimmer under my foundation with something like this you don't need anything like it is a little bit shimmery um when i say shimmery i don't mean like glitter I mean like it applies and gives you this beautiful sheen to your skin like do you see how beautiful and radiant that looks and it just makes your skin feel so hydrated I would say that this is a step up from a serum it's not necessarily like a like a watery consistency it's more of like a jelly type of product which personally I enjoy kind of like an emulsion that's the word I'm looking for it has a texture of an emulsion to it and because it has niacinamide, you guys know one of my favorite ingredients, it truly helps to brighten the skin. It doesn't leave a sticky finish at all, and it just applies beautifully and wears so well on your skin. Definitely worth the price, in my opinion. The next product is an eye cream. Now, I definitely said before that I don't usually wear a lot of eye creams just because they're overpriced moisturizers, but there are certain instances where eye creams can really help, especially if you guys have dark spots around your eyes or if you have wrinkles around your eyes or whatever the case may be. It can be beneficial can be beneficial to use one that has um, niacinamide or one that has a vitamin C or even a retinol. And the one that I have is the Inkyless Retinol Eye Cream. This one has been beautiful because I use retinol on my skin. It is quite strong and I don't want to be using that around my eyes. So in this instance, yes, you would go ahead and apply a specific retinol there too. And because I'm using, um, what do you call it? Because I recently started using tetranoin, I definitely don't want that around my eyes, but I do want to make sure that I'm getting the same benefits as I'm getting on my face under my eyes. So this has become very, very helpful for me. And I do find that it makes my eyes look a little bit more brighter. Like I started getting a little bit of under eye wrinkles, probably because I haven't been sleeping that well, but <laughs> um, since increasing my sleep, water intake, as well as using this, I've definitely noticed a difference under my eyes. And I've been using this, I think for, three or four months now it has been very very beneficial and it's super inexpensive too if you guys follow my tiktok or instagram you guys would know that i recently came back from a vacation to the caribbean one thing about my skin and heat or hot climates is that it gets extremely irritated i'm very very prone to getting irritation heat rashes especially during the change of the weather the change of the season so one thing that has been helping to keep my skin my face under control is the secret repair tiger grass cream from dr jart I've tried numerous of these Dr. Jart products before, but this one was so handy because it's in a sample size. And it, I brought this on my trip with me to apply to the highest points of my cheeks. And it definitely helps prevent any type of like redness on my skin. My skin, yes, it does get red. Um, it does prevent some of those redness, some of that irritation on my skin. It has been very helpful. I kind of use it as an after sun balm on my skin to calm it down. And I've been loving this so much. Okay, the next two are creams. The first one is the La Roche-Posay Tolerane Dermatologio Cream. And it's just supposed to 
be that occlusive layer. They do have another one, the one that's a fluid, but I really do like the thickness of this cream, especially in the winter. Right now it is December. So yes, I love how much this just moisturizes your skin, but it doesn't feel thick. It doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel like you have like a super heavy occlusive. It's just a step below that. And that's one of the reasons I really love this product. There's no fragrance in here, of course, and it's meant specifically for people with sensitive skin. Definitely love this one here. The second cream was also sent to me through PR. This is the Natrium Multipeptide Moisturizer. Now this one is really cool because it has some really amazing ingredients in here. It's supposed to help prevent wrinkles and fine lines and so on and so forth. I am upwards of 25, so it's definitely something that I'm hankering down on to make sure that I age gracefully. Now it isn't necessarily for anti-aging or any of those things. I actually really like the look of wrinkles around your eyes. I feel like it makes you look like you're expressive. It makes you look like you're a bit more mature. It shows that you've smiled, that you've laughed, that you lived a life worth living. So when I'm talking about anti-aging products or anti-wrinkle products, that is not the purpose. It's I just want to make sure that my skin looks as good as it can be. Not necessarily trying to fight aging or anything like that. I think it's a privilege to age with grace. And so, yeah, anyways, that little spiel. But this has been so beautiful. It is one of those like creamy products. There's something about Naturium's products that like, it, it, it really stands out to me. There's something about Naturium's products, especially their creams that make it so buttery on your skin. Like I am in love with whoever is their formulator. They are doing such a great job. This is one of my hands down favorite moisturizers that I wear every single morning on a daily basis. The last thing for skincare is one that I had used a couple years ago and I recently started using again. This is the Oxygen Facial Flash Recovery Mask from Dr. Brandt. And if you have been following me for a really long time, you know that I talked about this so many times before, but I recently purchased another bottle. They are a little bit expensive, so it's something I don't purchase all the time, but I just have fallen in love with this product once again. It's one of those like, so it's an oxygen mask, one of those carbonated masks. You put it on and it just like, it bubbles up on your skin with the carbon and it just leaves your skin feeling so soft and so moisturized like the texture of your skin feels different after using this now this is more of like a luxurious experience so if you're looking for that luxurious experience this is definitely something that you would want to try i love this mask i don't purchase it all the time because it's quite expensive but i do love to treat myself and when i do this is the one that i get Winter is one of those times when you will have dryness, crackiness on your lips. And especially the, the lipstick that I'm wearing today is the MAC Ruby Woo. And it tends to get a little bit dry if you haven't moisturized your lips properly, y'all. I put this on. This is the Lip Conditioner Hydrant from MAC. And it has made my lips feel so plush. This shade of lipstick is one of the driest lipsticks out on the market, but it's one of my favorites. And I'm always a little nervous to use it in the winter, but with this, it's not a problem at all. Like, look at my lips right now. They look hydrated. How do they look hydrated with Ruby Woo? I have no idea, but this is how. <laughs> so I put this on like 20 minutes before putting on my lipstick and it leaves it looking amazing. The last thing for my face is the Zit Sticka Killa Spot Clarifying Patch Kit. Now the Zit Stickas themselves are not new, but they've come in this larger bag that holds 20 clarifying patches as well as cleaning swabs. And I love the size, y'all already know. But these are so good, especially if you have those pimples that are on the surface that you can see, or even ones that are under skin. Because they have the micro darts, they kind of go through your skin and deliver what you the, the ingredients to the actual pimple underneath to stop it from even becoming a head or to make sure that the head goes away completely. These are some of my favorites. Definitely worth the money. For makeup, I have been obsessed with the By Mario um soft sculpt shaping stick this one is in the shade dark deep it is legitimately like butter the only issue i have with this is that for some reason it like doesn't turn up like there's a lot of products in here like all the way here but i think this 
particular bottle is a little bit faulty because it doesn't really spin like it's supposed to. But anyways, I love how this applies. It applies like butter on your skin. I'm wearing it today. It blends out so nicely. The only other issue I have with this is I think this is the darkest shade that they have. I'm obviously not the darkest skin tone that is out there, so that's a little bit unfortunate. I wish that they would come out with a bigger shade range because this is honestly such a good product. For my hair, I've been trying a couple of products as well. This one actually came as a huge shock to me. It's from the dollar store. This is the Salon Selective's Instant Repair Leave-In Conditioner. And it, first of all, smells amazing. This is like my seventh bottle of this. This is the only thing I use in terms of a leave-in conditioner. Um, I'm, I'm so shocked by this product. It leaves your hair just so smooth and soft and detangled. And it just, oh, it's one of my favorites. If you have not tried this yet, please do. You will thank me later. I was recently sent this scalp treatment from Medicube and I kind of use this as a conditioner, both the scalp treatment and a conditioner. And I washed it, I used this, sorry, when I was washing my hair with braids in. I love the nozzle because it really does help for that. But basically, you know, it is so, I was a little bit nervous because usually when products come like this, they're usually a bit more liquid. And I was like, how is this a conditioner? But when you put it on your hair, let me tell y'all, it for some reason, like it emulsifies in a way that I've never really seen a liquid do before. It's 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 a really interesting formula. It's supposed to help moisturize and nourish both your hair and scalp. And truly it does this. When I was washing it out of my hair, I was like, oh my God, like there was just so much product. You don't need to use a lot for this to work at all. You just put it in after shampooing your hair, leave it in for about five to 10 minutes or so while you're in the shower doing your shaving routine or whatever the case may be, and then rinse it out. It is absolutely amazing. And usually I use like thick butters on my hair to moisturize or to thick, not thick butter. Usually I use like thick conditioners on my hair to make sure that it's thoroughly moisturized, thoroughly hydrated, but this is legitimately all you need. I really do love this. I'll be doing a video on this soon so you guys can see it in action. Okay, the last two products are for my body. We'll start with the Medicube. This one was also sent to me. I haven't heard too many people talk about this before, but this is the Medicube Red Clear Sika Body Scrub. I'm really impressed by Medicube's body collection. They have such great products specifically for acne prone skin. And that is one of the reasons I love them. It leaves your skin so silky smooth and it doesn't really have a scent to be honest, which it has it has a very clean scent like it's not overly fragrant it's not going to knock you out which you guys know i'm not a huge fan of highly scented products i like more subtle fragrance but this one has truly been amazing it leaves your skin super hydrated super soft to the touch it's one of my favorites Last but not least, I have the First Aid Beauty Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA. This is their smaller bottle and I actually picked up a bigger one as well. As you can see, it's completely done. I love this thing. If you struggle with bumpy skin or just anything going on with this area here, also bumpy skin on your stomach, because I used to shave my belly hair, so there's a bunch of bumps there that I need to get rid of. This helps a lot. The booty arms the stomach wherever you need to get like really smooth silky skin this is the one for you i love this scrub hands down i would say one of my absolute favorite body products to date so i hope you guys like this video comment down below and let me know have you tried any of these products before or what are your current favorites i would love to know go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always stay gorgeous stay fabulous and i will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next one Bye.